Now, among the compounds of the group 16 elements, let us first discuss the oxygen molecule itself. Now, the oxygen, let's study the first its preparation. It can be prepared by heating nitrates, KMnO4, and chlorates like KClO3 when heated decomposes to give KCl and O2 and this reaction is catalyzed by MnO2. In a very similar way, we know this, the metal metals whose oxides exist even if they are not existing, the nitrates of the metals can be heated to give oxygen. The only difference you will find is like that the nitrates uh, of the metals whose oxides exist it decomposes to give you oxides plus NO2 and O2 and whose oxides does not exist, they form nitrite and they also release oxygen. In a very similar way, when potassium permanganate, dry, dry potassium, solid potassium permanganate, when heated, decomposes to potassium manganate and MnO2 and it also releases oxygen which can be collected by the downward displacement of water. Simultaneously, we can also prepare oxygen by heating of oxides of many elements, many metals like, like let us talk about silver oxide when heated gives us silver plus oxygen. Similarly, Lead compounds like PB3O4, litharge, on heating forms PBO and O2. And PBO2 also, when heated, forms PBO and O2. So, this is how they can also be easily obtained by heating these oxides. We can also obtain this by heating mercury oxide. So, these are a very simple a way of preparing oxygen uh, by heating the oxides or from the nitrates and chlorides which we have discussed. Industrially, it is prepared by liquefaction of air followed by fractional distillation. That is the basic thing. We can also prepare oxygen by the decomposition of H2O2, which decomposes to give you water and oxygen, this reaction is catalyzed by the presence of alkalis or sunlight. So, these are the normal preparation methods of oxygen. Now, remember properties of oxygen. Oxygen is a colorless, odorless gas, which is actually is very small, small as a very little soluble in water and its solubility in water is approximately 3.08 percentage by volume. So, almost 3.08 ml of oxygen is soluble in 100 ml of, of the water. So, its solubility is very less but this much even is sufficient for the supporting the, aqua, supporting the aquatic life. Then it combines with almost all elements except the noble metals like platinum and gold. Otherwise, it combines with all elements and forms their corresponding oxides, whether they are metals or metalloids or non-metals, and they uh, uh, and forms oxides with them. Now, what is most important to notice the nature of these oxides? What what we find is changes from basic to acidic across the period. What we find is like let's talk about sodium oxide, and magnesium oxide, aluminium oxide, silicon dioxide, phosphorus pentoxide sulfur trioxide and Cl207. What we find is these two are basic in nature. This is amphoteric in nature. This is weakly acidic. These two are acidic. This one is 
strongly acidic. So this is, this is what, what we find is across the period, the nature of the oxides increases and changes from basic to acidic. The reason is the size increase, decreases, atomic size decreases and the ionization and is increasing. So as for the Fazan suit, what is happening is the polarizing power is increasing, so the acidic nature is increasing. Whereas down the group, what we find is the basic nature increases because the atomic size increases and ionization enthalpies are decreasing. So that's why this is the change in the behavior we get. Now let us st study, I will give you two examples of, uh, to know the amphoteric nature of the aluminium oxide. When this Al2O3 is basically reacted with HCl in presence of water, what we find is that it forms a complex, it forms a complex like this one, H2O6 Cl3. It forms this, this, this complex. In a very similar way, what we find is when this Al2O3 is reacted with NaOH in presence of water, it forms aluminium OH6. And Na is 3 outside. Now you need to understand when this aluminum, aluminum oxide is reacted with acid, it means it is acting as a base. And when it is reacted with a base, it is acting as an acid. So that means this shows its amphoteric behavior. And you need to show that the compounds formed are in the existing in the form of complexes. This is hexa aqua aluminum 3 chloride. And this is sodium hexa hydroxide aluminate 3.